Hello, welcome to Scrap Time. My name's Christine, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can make an acrylic skin using packing tape. So first of all, I've been using this palette for a while, and I've been layering paint. So it, it took me days to get it to this point. So what it is, is that every time I had dry paint, I left it there, and then I just kept putting paint on top of the paint. Now this isn't very thick, so if I was to try and peel it off, it would probably crumble, because you can see down here, you can see it's starting to peel off, but it's not very thick, because if you want a nice acrylic skin, you probably want it a little thicker if you were just going to peel it off. Now if you don't know what an acrylic skin is, so acrylic paint is basically, the, it's plastic based, so when you it dries, you can peel it off, and that part you peel off, they refer to it as an acrylic skin. So I'm going to show you, though, um, a way you can do this with packing tape. So as I said, I have my layers of paint here. And because I knew I was going to do this, I then went over it and just added these little dots to make it more interesting, just so I wouldn't have big blobs of single colors. And I have just clear packing tape. And what I'm going to do is put it right down. onto the paint. I'm going to put one on this side because I want individual strips so I don't want my tape to um, go on top of one another. So I'm going to come back to do the middle. tape over so I just burnish it down with my fingers and now if all goes well this should lift up ta-da now we have these open spaces here so what you can do next I have some foil but you have to go on this side so it'll probably be silver but I'm fine with silver and I'm just going to Put my tape down. And it will pick up some of that. So here's the other side. That's cool too. So I could have gold on that side. So I'm going to again. And so you can keep working it. Can you see? the gold that it's picking up. So you have two sides. It can be this side or this side. So I'm going to put this one aside and let's peel this one off. My tape is ripping. So there is that side. I don't like the white so much on that side, but that part there is interesting. So again, you can put it down on some foil. And then peel off some of that goodness. And I like how the foil, I don't know if you can see, it gets into these little crevices here too and you get little specks. So I'll show you one more time with this middle piece. And this is also a great way then to clean up your workspace. Now I just want to put note, oh look how pretty this one is. I just want to say that I did this on the little silicone sheet. If you were to do this straight on the glass, as you can see, the paint sticks to the glass and it wouldn't come up. So you have to do it on a craft mat or a silicone sheet or something where the paint will be released. Again, just And I like this one, all this little in-between parts here. Very cool. So I'll finish off that one after, but here are three of my skins. Maybe this one will be on this side. Maybe this one will be on this side. And now I'm going to take these and um, 
play around with them, and then I'll show you what I make. So I just made a couple really basic samples here. Gemma had wanted a bookmark. She really liked the design that it came up. So you can use either side. She liked the side with the little dots, like this side versus this side, whereas this is the side I personally like. But anyway, this is the size she wanted. I just took a piece of paper and I used collage medium or gel medium to glue it onto the paper. Because this was the tape side, I didn't need to seal it. It was already sealed. But if you were using this side, make sure you just put a uh, layer of collage medium over top of that as well to seal the paint. And then I made a little tag and it's just this little bit here I cut out. You can see there um, this little bit I cut off and it gives you just an interesting added little textures and colors and that to your project. So even though it's only a little bit on that, um, it just adds to it and gives you something else to use. So you can use these basically at how you would use like paper or um, washi tape or adhesives, anything like that in strips or you could probably cut it out and do different things with it. So there's a couple ideas of ways to use um, these bits that we, our older paint that we had on our, our acrylic skins, I guess in a sense, that we had going on. Thanks for watching. Be sure to give our video a thumbs up and subscribe to Scrap Time Videos on YouTube. In the meantime, here are a couple other videos you might be interested in, in watching. See you next time. Bye bye.